Maharashtra ke Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Hello everyone, this is Ankit Reddy, a .NET trainer. Welcome to H2K Infosys, world's best online trainings with a real-time projects. Today, we'll learn about conditional statements in c -sharp in this session. Let's move on to that. So before learning that a condition statements, let's have something introduction on Shishop. Shishop is a general purpose, modern and object oriented programming language uh, pronounced as a Shishop. It was developed by Microsoft. .NET applications are multi-platform applications and framework can be used from languages like C++, Shishop, Visual Basic, Cobol, etc. It is designed in a manner so that other languages can use it. Why C-Shop? C-Shop has so many reasons for being popular and in demand. Let's discuss a few of the reasons. The first one is easy to learn. C-Shop.net is high-level object-oriented programming language. So it is closer to other programming languages like C, C++, and Java and thus becomes easy to learn for non-IT background students as well. We can develop a standalone applications, a web applications, or mobile applications. If anyone want to create a Microsoft applications, C-Shop is a go-to language. And other reason is a community. The larger the community, the better it has a new tools and softwares will be developing to make it better. Microsoft has a very large community, so the developers have more visibility to interact with each other. The other reason is a game development. C-Shop is widely used in game development. C-Shop integrated with Microsoft and thus has a large target audience. The C-Shop features such as automatic garbage collection, CLR, interfaces, object oriented, etc. etc. makes C-Shop a popular game developing language the if statement what is it if statement the if statement is one of the conditional statement in our shishop.net one of the single most important statements in every programming language is the if statement whatever the programming language if we take the if statement will be must and should used being able to set up a conditional blocks of code is a functional principle of writing software. In C-Shop, the if statement is very simple to use. If you have already used another programming language, chances are that you can use the if statement in C-Shop straight away. If you do not have any experience in any other programming language also, no need to worry. I make you understand the if statement and the C-Shop programming language in a simpler way. So, Let's see that what are the if statements available in shishop.net. The set of things are a simple if statement, if else statement, if else and if statement, nested if. So without wasting time, let's flip to Visual Studio and see that a demonstration on if statement. That is one of the conditional statement. So this is my Visual Studio I have installed on my machine. You can also install uh, free of cost from that Microsoft.net or website. So here I have a set of code uh, pre written to save some time. Integer number. This is a variable integer to the data type. So it will hold integer type data. Integer means it will take the digits. Okay. We'll discuss later what are the possibilities of taking which variable and which data type and how much data it will store in so and so particular data type. Now let's discuss something about if statements alone in this session. 
What is this console dot write line? Console dot write line is used to write something, whereas console dot read line is used to read something from the console. Here, what I'm doing, I'm asking user to enter a number between 0 and 100. So let's see first if demo, what it will be do that if demo. I just made a comment. So there, in Shisha, we have two types of comments. One is single line comments, another one is multi-line comments. So this one is single line comments. If you wanted to make uh, multi-line comments, you can have like this, slash star, and then star slash. So this part will become multi-line comments. If you wanted to make only a single line, should be commenter means you can put two slashes. So this code will not be considered by C-Shop compiler. Whatever you want to write, you can write, but it will not be considered by C-Shop. That's okay. Now, let's see the output. What will happen if you enter 100? I'm just debugging. Just wait for a few seconds. It will show the result. Please enter a number between 0 and 100. You can see that. Please enter a number between 0 and 100. The same text has been displayed. Right line is used to write something on a console. Now, we wanted to read some number, whatever user has entered. So we are using a read line. I'm going to enter 100. You have entered an 100 from where it is coming from this way. If condition become true, then the set of statements which are followed by if statement can be executed. We have entered a number 100, so it is equals to 100. The condition become true. Once the condition become true, the following statements of the if statement will get executed. If I have entered an 100, which is getting displayed. That's so what if a plain if statement. So let's move on to that if else statement. So I'm just making this commented without deleting because I have already pre written the code which one was commented. Now I'm making this uncomment. So we have seen that if demo, now we are moving to the if else demo. If number is equal to 100, condition becomes true, it will get executed. If not, then it will come to the else spot. Let's see that with programmatically. Now I'm going to enter 150 intentionally what will happen you have not entered a hundred which means the condition become fail here which is not is equals to hundred that's why else part get executed so this is what if else so if condition become executed the condition become true else statement will get executed if the condition become false that's the catch please remember that now we'll move on to that if else and then if see that if we have if condition here then we can have another if condition else if if doesn't fall if doesn't uh, the condition is not meeting any of these conditions then else part is there always now let's see that by debugging one more time what is that if i enter 100 this part will like, get executed that part we have seen now intentionally i'm typing 150 what will happen you have entered a number which is more than 100 and less than 200. That's what we have kept here in the else if statement. This condition is not met, but the 150 which became true in this condition because the entered number 150 is greater than 100 and less than 200. That's why this part of the code has been executed. Okay, that's what if else. Suppose let me execute one more time for this. If I entered the number which is not equal to 100 and which is not in between 100 and 200 250 i'm entering you enter a number which is more than 200 from where it is coming from this part so the number what you enter 250 is not meeting the condition he the if condition or else else if condition so that's why it is coming to this part okay now let's move on to that the next condition i'm just making this comments oh, what is this nested if nested if means an if condition inside and another if condition so see this if condition is there then another if condition so if the condition matches here it will go to the second if condition if this also matches then only it will come to the uh, statements which you have kept after this condition 
Now let's see that. If I enter any number between 0 and 100, what will happen? I'm taking that 50. Please enter a number between 0 and 100. So I took 50. You have entered a number which is even number. So what is happening here? Uh, nested if means it has to pass the conditions, the first if and the inner if. So nested if meaning is a uh, if condition inside another if condition. That's what nested if. So we have covered all the statements which comes under if statements. Thank you for joining the session. We'll meet again. Thank you.